right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites out here again another weekend to prophesy the total destruction and downfall of your beloved country, America. First of all, before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Double honor to the Apostle and Elder, the Great Millstone, who taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. And much love, peace, and blessing to all you elect brothers out there across the four corners of the globe that's pushing this truth out of love and sincerity. The elect brothers of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Today we're going to be talking about self-will, how you people think you're in control of your own destiny, and you're not because the Lord controls everything. Whether it's life or death, rich or poor, it don't matter. The Lord controls everything. All right? What scripture you got, bro? Jesus. Bear with us one second. It's kind of cold out here, brother. I'm trying to get the script. It's cold out here. You see, we are here fighting this good fight of faith. We we preaching the word instant, in season and out of season. See what I'm saying? Whether it's hot, cold, rainy, sunny, snowy, it don't matter. We still out here on the highways and byways, giving our body up as a living sacrifice. But guess who's controlling that? You how about Shimmy I was shy for putting his spirit within us to keep coming out here fighting this good fight of faith. Okay, I'm on <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 5. Uh, we're going 15 through the 20th verse. It says, See then that ye walk circum circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the evil, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. See, it says, Be ye circumspect. What does circumspect mean? Circ means around. Spec means to look. So that means what? To look around yourself. Always be aware of your surrounding. It says as wise as not as fools. Because you got a lot of people out here that's fools. Thinking that they control their own destiny. Well, if you control your own, your own destiny, that means what? You have control of whether you live or you die. Or if you can get yourself out of poverty or not. And there's always them fools that's in Deep poverty that's loving this world and thinking that they can control their own destiny. Well, if you can control your own destiny, that means what? You wouldn't see it. That means what? You're in control of your life and what happens to your life. But since it seems you're always getting in trouble, you're always sinning, you're always going to jail. You see what I'm saying? You're always losing your job. That means what? You have no control over your life. That means you have no destiny over your life. Your life is controlled by your how about shooting out with shot. Go That's ahead, right. bro. It says, Wherefore, <coughs> be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See? What it said, be not unwise, but understand what's the will of the Lord. And I'm finna tell you what's the will of the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So that's the will of the Most High. What are you going to say, bro? Man, that's my favorite scripture. <laughs> one of my favorites. I got so many, man. That's one of my favorites. See, so that's the will of the Most High is to what? Fear Him, which, like I tell you in Proverbs, is the beginning of knowledge, and, and, and keep His commandments. That's the will of the Most High. That's how you become wise. That's how you stay circumspect. See what I'm saying? And understanding what the Lord's role is for you, and, and understanding that the Lord controls everything. It says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. And that's talking about other philosophies. See what I'm saying? Because the other philosophies is known as what? Wine. Like, like I tell you, in, uh, what is it? I think Isaiah or Jeremiah, that they are drunk, but but not with uh, 
but not, but not with one. Did you see what I'm saying? They stagger. Uh, uh, matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, let me get that right quick. Because I don't want to misquote it. That's Isaiah 29 and 9. Now you hold what you got. I get it. I get it, bro. Yo, Isaiah 29 and 9. Oh, this is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves and wander. Cry ye out and cry. That are drunken, but not with wine. See, they are drunken, but not with wine. Keep, keep, keep reading. They stagger, but not with strong drink. See, they stagger, not with strong drink, meaning what? They're drunk of these other philosophies. Like what? Uh, being a, a Baptist, or a Roman Catholicism, or Episcopalianism, or uh, Presbyterianism. See what I'm saying? Or being a Pentecostal, or being a, a Moor, or a Seven Day Adventist, or uh, what is it? Uh, the con the Black Consciousness. See what I'm saying? Or or Islam. That's being drunk with these other philosophies. See what I'm saying? Because why? You're not drinking of the true wine, which is the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Meaning what? Eating, drinking of this word right here. See what I'm saying? You're drinking on another wine, another drink. It said, but be filled with the Spirit. See, but be filled with the Spirit. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, like I tell you in John, what is that Spirit? Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. Now what is that spirit? That's John chapter 7 starting at verse 38. Alright. It says, He that believeth on me, who is this talking? This is who the world called Jesus Christ. In the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because the Yahweh child was not yet glorified. So what is that Spirit? It's talking about the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's word, man. This Bible right here. Right. See what I'm saying? So I said you must believe on the Spirit, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This word right here, this Bible. Okay, I thought you had another script. What you got? Oh, go ahead. Okay, let me get a... Uh, matter of fact, let me get a... Uh, one of my favorite ones. Proverbs 20 and 24. One of my favorite ones. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24. Man goings are of the Lord. See it said man's goings are of the Lord. Keep reading. How can a man then understand his own way? So what is it uh, you're in control of your own destiny? What is it? The scripture said man goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Meaning what? You have no control over yourself. The Lord is the one that guides you in everything and tells you what to do. Matter of fact, give me that in Job chapter, uh, what is it? 
Job chapter 33 and 14. Job chapter 33.